my name is Craftman780 and welcome back to another video. Today will be my 600th subscriber video. And as of recent, a comment from Minecraft Creeper 2356 Roblox said, how do you make your TARDISes bigger on the inside? Well, that's what I'm going to show you and a whole bunch of other people who would willingly listen to my cringy voice. So what we're going to want to do is import an asset, go to my rigs folder, and import my, my TARDIS rig. And what we'll do is just wait a few frames and open the doors like so and this is what it'll be just a green screen now that seems simple but for me it actually took me the longest time to learn and we'll also import another asset the first doctor's TARDIS interior just like so and what we're also going to want to do is open up the main doors as well. 135, nope, that's negative 135. That is positive 135. So the doors are open, meaning we can see into the interior once we get rid of this, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, green screen. So what we can do is actually just make the doors have a transition instead of it just being a linear transition. Give it an ease in and out. And we'll do that. We'll import a camera. 180, negative 8, or nope, negative 4, yeah, negative 4, 21, tw yeah, 22, 1. OK, that's good enough. So what will happen is this will be the shot and what we'll render is called a pass and what we'll do is in fact animate the camera just a little bit so when the door stops we'll have the camera kinda zoom into the interior like so and then it'll stay there for a few frames move on over here just a little bit or by a lot actually stay there for about 10 frames move on over like so stay there for 10 frames and then go back to its original position and what we'll do is give the camera an ease in and out so the door will open, the camera will transition around, and that will be the shot. And what we'll do is render what's called a pass. So this will end up being pass one, just the a shot with just the exterior. And I'll go ahead and render that. Alright guys, so that is rendered. 
Now what we'll do is make a shot of just the interior and this will end up being the shot. So it'll be the exact same as the exterior shot. And that is what will be. And I will go ahead and render that as well. All right, guys, so that has also been rendered, and I will now see you guys in Camtasia. OK, here we are. So what we're going to want to do is grab the second pass, which we just rendered, drop that onto the timeline. And you see this. Then grab the first pass drop that onto the timeline and move that upward so you only see the exterior shot but you still, you still see the green screen what gives? well what you need to do is go to visual properties remove a color and select the green screen which in this case it already is bump the tolerance up bump the softness down and it's literally just as simple as that. The effect is already done. And it's a really nice effect, I might add. So, yeah, it's a good effect. I like it. And what we'll do is go ahead and render that. just like so. Alright, so that's been rendered and now what we'll do is click finish and upload that and I will show you guys what the finished product looks like. Alright guys, so this is what the final product looks like. So this is a really nice effect and yeah, it was simple. So, anyways guys, my name is Craftman780, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.